More than 50 million Americans have already cast their ballots for the presidential election. That's 36 percent of the total ballots cast in the 2016 election. In Texas alone, more than 6 million people have voted. Here in the state of Pennsylvania, leaders say nearly half of the more than 2 million mail-in ballots sent out have already been returned. All week long, we've been hearing your voices, the voice of the voters from across southwestern Pennsylvania. And this evening, Royce Jones takes you to Beaver County to find out what voters there think about the upcoming election. Our assignment to hear voters' voices led us 30 miles west of Pittsburgh, past rows of campaign signs, into the political boxing ring, otherwise known as Beaver County. Beaver County has always been uh, viewed as, as Beaver County goes, so goes the nation. A historic stomping ground for presidential candidates like John F. Kennedy, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, and Donald Trump. I don't know that Beaver County has changed that much. I know our, our political, who we vote for has changed dramatically. Beaver County has a wavering political past, previously Democratic, recently Republican, a blue collar county where hard work reigns constantly, rich traditions of trade and manufacturing, previously promising steel towns turned busy business hubs. This is where we find undecided John Ecker, who is willing to cross party lines to keep the economy alive. The economy is better with Trump. I know Biden's offering more more toys, you know, more money and stuff like that. Ernie and Kalina Sapola already voted. They chose Trump. For them, it's his bold attitude. He's given us more freedoms almost to speak and be exactly who we are versus in the past. Exactly what Lisa Booker hopes to escape voting for Biden. If those things are in his heart, how can a man represent the country for all people? While voters like Dorothy Hoover remain undecided. Give me answers on issues, on all the issues going on today, not screaming at each other. In a politically divided America, just take it from John Ecker. We're going to be okay. We always recover. We're the greatest country in the world. Royce Jones, KDKA News. And you can find Royce's report from Beaver County along with our other Voice of the Voter pieces at KDKA.com.